What's up everyone, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters and it's time for me to take a night off. And uh, I went to my local game store and I asked them, hey, give me some games under 20 bucks that I can share with my subscribers that maybe isn't necessarily Magic the Gathering specific or exact, but it's Ma Magic the Gathering adjacent at least. And um... <laughs> or or might appeal to Magic players. I don't know how much like Magic Flux is, but uh, Flux is a card game that you can pick up for like fifteen to twenty bucks. I'll provide a link in the description below. You might even be able to get it cheaper. Um, that is, you know, two to six players between ten minutes and a half hour, and it's it's uh, it seems super interesting. What do they say on the back? Grab a chainsaw, barricade the windows, start a zombie baseball team. Draw a card, play a card. Try to kill the zombies that are keeping you from winning until someone changes the rules and suddenly you might actually want the zombies. It's the flux game where zombies change everything. And there's actually like stoner flux and there's all sorts of different flux games. Um, from what I understand is you basically end up with a goal card and then if you accomplish the goal card, so it says like barricade the windows, play this card, uh, place it face up in the center of the table discard your previous goal. Then you win the game if you have lumber and at least one friend on the table in front of you. So let's take a look at Zombie Flux. This definitely seems like a game that just about anybody could play. You could play it with your parents or your friends. Um, as I am of age, I would assume um, alcohol makes this game even more interesting as it did with Bang the Dice game. This is uh, obviously going to be far less complicated, but they show you they have Cthulhu Flux, Star Flux, Pirate Flux. So whatever you're actually into, um, they have it, the folks at Looney Labs. By the way, Looney Labs, feel free to send me some free stuff, Flux. So the, sim the, games are real si the game's real simple. Um, you might want to start without zombies. So apparently zombies is uh, a little more complicated than the, the basic flux, but um, you can also play the game without the zombies. So the basic rules. Uh, this is starting point, the foundation on which the game, rest of the game is built. These are the initial rules. And then there are new rules that come into, come into play. So flux is a game about change. So the game that changes as you play it, it begins with just a couple of very simple rules. Uh, and becomes more complex as additional rules are added via special cards called new rules. So you draw a card, if it says new rule, that's the new rule. Start by following basic rules, draw one card, play one card, and adapt to all additional new rules as they are played. Players take turns going clockwise around the table, do, uh, drawing and playing indicated. So on your turn, draw the number of cards currently required, play the number of cards currently required, discard down, to the current hand limit, if any. So very, very simple. Uh, so you have, you win basically, the game continues until someone meets the conditions of the current goal. That player wins instantly, no matter whose turn it is. The game does not end though until uh, there is a clear winner. If two or more players meet the winning goal simultaneously, the game continues until a single winner emerges. Now you've got your flux or your zombie version here. Now that you know how to play flux, bring in the zombies. So you've got different card types basically that come into the game. You have a creeper and an ungull. Unlike keepers, uh, which are things you want because they help you win, creepers are undesirable cards, which often prevent you from winning. Creepers are kept on the table in front of you, the same area as your keepers. Whereas keepers stay in your hand until you decide to play them, creepers are played automatically as soon as you draw a creeper, you must place it face up in front of you and draw another card. This creeper, uh, you, know, you might have to adapt several creepers, except several creepers at once as you draw cards. Do you draw the required number of non-creepers? Blah, blah, blah. Ungull, uh, this is treated exactly like a regular goal, but instead of causing a player to win, if the conditions of the ungull are met, the game ends with all players losing and the zombies win. So as you can see, this game can get pretty insane. Um, you know, it's just, here, I'll, we'll grab some of the cards here. So we have two piles. We've got action cards here. 
Draw two and use them. Eaten by zombies. The player with the most zombies showing must discard one of their keepers. Count the zombies, not the creepers. So if these are your action cards. And so you must draw these. Here's, a, here's an example of a creeper. Pair of zombies. Move this card uh, to any other player if you kill a different creeper during your turn. You cannot hold this card. You must place it, blah, blah, blah. We talked about that in the rules. Then here's an example of a goal. To play this card, place a face up in the center of the table. A brain baseball. You win if you have brains and the baseball bat and at least one zombie on the table. Here we've got more uh, cards. Here's the basic rules to begin. Shuffle up the deck and deal three cards to each player. Keep someone, choose someone to go first, keep this card on the table. So that would go out like right away so everyone knows what the hell to do, you know? Then here's an example of a keeper. Can of gasoline. To play this card, place it face up on the table. All right. You would play these then to um, satisfy the rules, right? Here's an example of a new rule. To play this card, place it face up uh, on the table, draw five cards per turn. <laughs> the player who played this card should draw extra cards right away. There's all sorts of stuff. No hand limits. Look over there. New rules. I'm trying to find an ungoal. Here's an ungoal. Zombie victory. Um, to play this card, place a face up in the center of the table. Discard any previous goal. If there are at least five zombie creeper cards on the table and all players have at least one, the game ends with no winners and the zombies win. <laughs> so I could, you could probably, I imagine you could probably, if you don't think you're going to win and somebody else is going to win, maybe you play that card and uh, screw everyone up. Um, so I don't know. This game actually seems pretty fun, pretty simple to play. You know, you just... You know, there's here's an example of what like the table might look like, but uh, super easy. That is Zombie Flux. Again, I will provide a link to uh, check out this game in the description down below. I'm gonna go uh, play this uh, with the family at Christmas because there's no better time to celebrate zo celebrate zombies than Santa's birthday. Um, how many of you guys have played Flux? If you have, tell what can you tell me about the game? It, it seems pretty fun, actually. Um, I don't know if they... I assume they're still producing new sets. Uh, if you're over 8 years old, you should be able to handle this game. It seems like a lot of fun. So this is uh, Jeremy from MTGHeadquarters.com, and I'm taking the night off. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG Vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.